So at this point what I want to talk to you about is working with the path that we had just created and you can do this with any path no matter what you're working with and what I want to talk about is what if you are unhappy with the way things look and you want to move things around well there are a number of options here inside of the pen tool if you click down and hold on it you'll open up this sub menu and it's got some other options that you have available to you and another way of manipulating that path is working with the path selection tools there's a black one that allows you to select the entire path and that's pretty simple and straightforward however there's also a white one which allows you to select only one of these anchor points so the direct selection path allows me to click on this point right here and notice independent from all the others I can move it around if you want to manipulate how the handles look well notice by stretching them out that determines how wide that curve is gonna be for example if I want this to be even further accentuated I can drag this one and make a longer handle see that long handles long handles what about this one long handle if you want I can now move this out higher. So you can see how these points can be manipulated and the handles can be as well. Well, let's look at one thing in particular when it comes to this particular point. Here, I'll just bring these handles down a little bit, make them a little bit more reasonable to work with. And let's look at this. If I have two handles, well, when I move one, it moves the other one in direct proportion to where I've moved the original. So it's an opposite effect. So what I want to do instead then is what if I only want one of these things to move? For example, this, but I don't want to move the other corresponding one. So press Option again, and as you move things, well, look at that. It allows you now, now I don't have to press Option because these two are not connected in any way. So I can move this around, and I can manipulate these things independently. Isn't that great? And if I click on this one, I can further accentuate these handles. See, just clicking on this one, bang, I can bring that one out and do a number of different things to it. So I can select this point. I could say, hey, you know, I want these to be more exaggerated. Or I could say, well, let's press Option and I'll move these in a separate fashion. Notice, we've got to make sure that when we do select it, just selecting the one, sorry, and moving them. So there you go. There are a lot of different ways that we can manipulate our objects. Selecting just one of them, moving them in any number of different positions. And you can create a very, very interesting drawing and interesting effect just working with those elements. Notice that if I were to select that entire path, as you can see here, then I could use the pen tool to do a number of other things. For example, I could click on this option to add to a specific point on that path. Notice clicking there, clicking there. Now I have more points that I can manipulate with the white arrow tool. If you don't like all of those points, well, then you certainly can press the minus option and delete them. But now I'd have to change where my handles look because they might have gotten a little messed up working in that fashion. So those are some great options. But notice, when you're with the pen tool, if you were to press option, actually, hold on a second, let's select that first of all. So I'll come in here and with my black arrow tool, I'll select that path. And then with my pen tool, notice just clicking on the edge here, you'll already see you don't need to activate that tool with the plus sign because it already gives you a plus right there. And then if you move over it again, it gives you the minus sign to get rid of it. So all of these things are easily accessible just by using the pen tool. So when we come back, we're going to look at the next option inside of your vector drawing and that is working with these vector shapes here and I'll show you how you can make the most of them and really create some interesting things inside of your work.